Okay, so we've got Buzz relocated back there. We've got all this open space. I had to run a new, uh, what they call an SO cord uh, with a larger gauge because it's a further distance, a farther distance to the uh, load center box inside the shouse. Whenever you do that, you want to avoid voltage drop over a long distance. So that winds up being about 50 feet. I had to get a new cord for that and a little larger gauge cord. Just wash the windows. Awesome. Well, what do you think, dude? <laughs> this, we've definitely got to pull this in a little bit because. Yeah. So. But uh, yeah, well, we'll get it straightened out as we go. But, uh, hey, I'd like to thank you for your help. Well, whoever you are. I don't know who I am either. <laughs> All right, so. This is all we're able to get done today, but at least we got buzz moved, got power restored to the shouse, we got a whole bunch of cleanup done here, and I am so grateful to this helper. So, it doesn't know who the one that doesn't know who he is. Yeah, I'm conflicted. Ah, <laughs> uh, finally got a nice calm night where I can burn this. Uh, pile of scrap wood and junk it's, those flames are about seven feet high maybe eight it's a beautiful night it's not too cold and there's no wind and uh, there's no wind to, no forecast for wind so out here with the winds we get you've got to take advantage of it while you can so, that's what I'm gonna do Guess I'll go get the hose ready just in case. Are you enjoying this, Reba, Roscoe? Are you enjoying this tonight? Yeah, you like it? Don't get in my shadow, here. <laughs> now those flames are probably 10 or maybe a little higher, 10 feet high, maybe a little higher. Oh, it was a beautifully calm night all night. No wind, no wind this morning. So nice. I better enjoy this while I can because I know the spring winds are coming. They're going to be brutal. <laughs> Here's our pile. I think it's still smoldering under there. Yeah, I can see some red. It's still smoldering under there. But always amazed at how... how efficient fire is for reducing mass.
I don't know if you remember from a prior video that that bad fuel tank that we had that has a leak in it that you know can't be fixed, so it's scrap. Well, I got an excellent suggestion from Off Grid Wannabe, uh, and I'll show you. Well, you may remember when I brought this tank here because it has the hole in them. Because Off Grid Wannabe is a channel that you want to check out, uh, particularly if you want to check it out anyway, but particularly if you are into solar power because the guy knows so much and has done so much with solar his place anyway uh, he suggested that I use this tank for raised beds and I thought boy that is an awesome idea so what I will do is got to cut the top and probably the bottom out on this so that it goes straight to soil you know natural soil and then I'm thinking if I might be able to get two beds out of this because this thing is like what five feet long or something like that if i cut make a cut right down you know horizontally across the middle i could wind up with two uh five foot raised beds which would be awesome for growing carrots or something like that here in this climate <clears throat> and they will go nicely inside of the greenhouse so i'm gonna do that and off-grid wannabe thank you so much for that suggestion it was awesome yeah, so here it is. I mean, basic footprint is 10 feet wide by about 25 feet long. And be plenty of greenhouse for my needs. And probably extra, I can give a whole bunch of people. So place your orders now. So the winds have just gotten to be too great to do anything. It knocked one of the ladders over and we just laid the other one down. But we got the pool noodles on there and they will help with... Uh, They'll protect the plastic and stretch it over the edge. But, uh, you know, we got some stuff to do here. We got to install some ends, maybe some support in the center. And then we need to tie some wires to the side of the shafts to sort of hold this in, get it to the right shape we want and strengthen it. And then uh, I want to line this wall with some tar paper. Tried to do it today, but the wind was too strong. It tore it up. So couldn't do it. You happy with the results so far? Yeah. No name? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, folks. It is a record day uh, weather-wise here at Contentment. It is 1 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 68 degrees, and this is uh, third week of March. And um, I mean, it's absolutely beautiful weather. This is sweating weather. Kind of rare contentment, but I uh, thought I'd give you an update, show you what's going on with the um, greenhouse. Uh, as you can see, we have our uh, end framing built out and center framing built out. The uh, cattle panel uh, is, uh, it's a little better supported than it was before. <clears throat> There's still some more supporting to do, uh, most of it involving baling wire and shelving uh, before we stretch the plastic over. It would be easier to bring in some dirt right now than later after we get the plastic on because for heaven's sake i could just dump it right through the cattle panel um but uh yeah so there it is uh some of these posts go down into the ground you know a good three four feet others as you can see are just supported by uh, cinder block which is fine it should all hold together very nicely but uh there it is and uh, it's it's coming along. Got to hurry and get it done because, um, I mean, I wasn't expecting weather like this today for March. Could be freezing again next week. But uh, in fact, you know, I say it's 68 right now. This morning when I got up, it was 24. So, um, yeah. And the, right now there's no wind. The wind's supposed to kick up a little later. So I do want to get out here and get some stuff done while I can. I guess I'll work on shelving. And I'll work on, um, you know, sort of stabilizing this thing with some baling wire. That's what I'll do. Reba, Roscoe, let's get these coffee grounds. Uh, nice and heavy because they're wet. 
as you can see these bags here I've started a collection not of trash but of coffee grounds uh, the dogs and I have had a ritual here on Friday evenings we go into town and we do our shopping uh, if I need to go to the auto parts store or the farm store or whatever they can get out of the truck and come in and uh, usually the uh, people there have a little bone for them or something but also they each get a burger from the uh, fast food place and we always stop by the local Starbucks and pick up their coffee grounds and they've uh, they've since uh, you know done away with giving them to me in these little silver bags for the most part they they just empty out their bins at the end of the night and put it all in a big trash bag like that for me so I've been saving these up these coffee grounds because they are going to be used here in this pretty good sized area we're looking at about 50 feet by oh it'll be a triangle roughly 50 feet long and probably 30 some odd feet at the base and uh, this is where I want to do the outdoor gardening so all this has got to come out and uh, you know don't worry folks there's plenty more of this agave all over the place so uh, this has got to come out uh, as you can see uh, this is where that boneyard was that I showed you in a prior video um, but I've also been dumping some of the wood stove ash out here uh, you know to begin conditioning the soil well, all that'll get tilled in turned over and stuff like that but then I'll also add uh, some compost I will also add some wood chips from the local sawmill and some saw and some sawdust as well because as you can see this soil is just sand I mean it's almost all silica I, I doubt there are very many um, nutrients in it at all and so I got to find a way to condition it and get it ready for gardening so between this area and the greenhouse on the other side I'm trying to collect enough coffee grounds uh, to act as a uh, you know beginning fertilizer coffee grounds are a really good beginning fertilizer uh, because their nitrogen content is about medium it's not really high or really low it's good for a starting garden and the nitrogen content isn't so high that your root vegetables that you plant out here uh, you know won't form roots only form tops so that's good but uh, anyway let's see what we can do on this greenhouse what are you guys doing you know you have a dog door you can come in if you're curious <laughs> you funny dog say hello to farmer g nona grace elf lord's journeys who else off-grid wannabe trying to shade this from the wind as best I can um okay so you know I've got some top supports going down there that help support the grid and then uh, as you can see I got this shelving in and a little bit more over there I have a couple more pieces that I think I may put up there I don't know we'll see but uh, now I've got to get up there and I have to staple this cattle panel here to those cross beams and and you're thinking and some of you may be wondering well how are you going to do that <laughs> without reaching your hand you know through those squares and doing it that way well let me show you <laughs> 